pandemic looming over our heads for the past few years, I really wanted to create a conducive space for me to work and unwind. Having an optimal desk setup was essential in boosting productivity and I spent months trying to build a space that works for me. And this is what I've come up with. The desk itself is an OmniDesk Pro 2020. I chose the 72 inch tabletop from the Wildwood collection. This collection features four different types of wood and I decided to go with the Acacia which has great durability and a very nice finish. The standing table has an adjustable height, a minimum of 60cm and a maximum of 125 which can be controlled using the controller at the side of the table. You can choose to adjust using the arrows or select from four different customizable heights. I wanted an adjustable table because it encourages me to switch up my position so that I don't feel lethargic when I work. In the middle of the tabletop, I have a cable pass-through grommet which leads to the bottom where I have a cable management bar. I hide all my cables in this bar so that the desk looks neat and tidy and have minimal wires dangling all over the place. The chair I use is the Apol Behemoth. It has an adjustable back and armrest which comes in really handy when I want to change positions for different needs. So OmniDesk has an entire ecosystem of modular accessories. One of the items I got was a power clamp which I've attached to the right corner of my table. There's various ports from universal power points to USB and HDMI pass-through ports. For the monitor, I'm using the LG 34WP500B. It's quite a mouthful but basically this is a 34 inch full HD IPS monitor and I decided to go with this monitor because it provides me a fair amount of screen real estate for the work I do. I think two 24 inch monitors would be nice but I really wanted a seamless experience without having any bezels in the middle and hence that's why I opted for a single ultra wide screen. I also chose to go with a regular flat screen instead of a curved screen because I felt that it would enable me to fix distortion and straighten my photos better. This screen is connected to a monitor arm which I got through OmniDesk. It allows me to move the monitor to various heights, angles and positions. The monitor arm features some cool functions such as a cable organizer and two USB pass-through ports. On top of the screen, I have a Xiaomi monitor light bar mounted and the brightness and temperature is adjustable using the controller provided. For my computer, I'm running a 2021 14-inch MacBook Pro. I got the A1 with the M1 Pro chip and 32GB of unified memory which seems to be holding up well under the work I've done. I decided to go with a laptop because I want to be able to easily access all my files and applications locally wherever I am. I connect my MacBook to my monitor via a HDMI cable and I edit straight off the SanDisk Extreme Pro SSD. I've tried various ways to display my MacBook from an elevated laptop stand to vertical stands like the one I've currently settled for. I also own a 2020 iPad Pro which complements my workflow very well. Apple Sidecar is a great function that allows the iPad to be a second display. I use this function to connect my iPad and MacBook when I need the touchscreen function on the iPad or a more color accurate display for grading photos and videos. There are a handful of accessories from various companies on my desk and the first batch are from Okiwood. Okiwood is a company that produces high quality desk accessories. I got myself the vertical laptop stand, iPad stand, Plant Potter which I now use to store random things like coins and micro SD cards, a headphone stand that also acts as a wireless charging station, a bunch of felt and cork coasters, and last but not least, a table mat. I also got some peripherals. I got the Magic Keyboard and Trackpad from Apple as I'm used to the ones on the MacBook, and I also got a random mouse from Xiaomi which I rarely use. In the future, I would love to look into mechanical keyboards because they look pretty cool and also perhaps invest in a loop deck to assist me for my edits. Now if we move to the left side of the table, you'll see two accessories from OmniDesk, a cup holder and the OmniDesk Kit, which is a desk drawer that I use to store miscellaneous items like pens and books. I also have a very cool accessory called the Zendit Rack, which can be purchased from Interstellar Goods. The rack provides a minimal and elegant storage solution and it requires no drilling to install. You can use it to store documents, keys, stationeries, and to hold cables. There's so much thought and innovation put into this product and I love it. 
For audio, I use the Urbanista Miami. The Miami is a pair of active noise cancelling headphones which can be used both wired and wirelessly. And I also own a pair of AirPods which I use the most frequent for casual things like watching videos or listening to music. The light strips I use are from Xiaomi and Omnidesk. I use them as backlights for the monitor and table and they can be controlled via voice activation or through my app. The RGB light strips can be tuned to a whole lot of different colors but I usually go with one cool and one warm for color contrast. Lastly, the final centerpiece of the entire desk is the Cos Holiday Singapore figure. I bought this to commemorate taking photos for the Cos Holiday Singapore event and it costs a hell lot of money. Not sure if I regret spending so much money but I gotta make the most of it and that's why it's in the middle of my table. Overall, I'm quite happy with this setup and it works hand in hand with the other things I have in my room which makes for a great home office space. Stay tuned for the room tour. In the meantime, if you're looking for any of the products I've mentioned, I have everything listed on my website where there are some discount codes for you guys. The link is in my bio. If you like this video, do consider subscribing and liking it and let me know what you guys want to see in future videos. I'll catch you next time. Bye!